So, hi, what's up guys, um, I um, got a request on my Emocore channel uh, and about uh, how I did some scarring and um, scars and liquid latex and I'm about to show you some of my work that you can do for Halloween or uh, any kind of uh, like costumey things. And um, this is one. You can see, like here, I've used liquid latex. So when I got it, like as I want it, like so. If I'm gonna do this eye, I just squeeze, squeeze it uh, so that it, it kind of fits my eye. And then I'm gonna use spirit gum. It looks like this. And it's actually, um, uh, it's really, really strong, so <laughs> it can be a hell to take off. And then you need this one, which are uh, a remover for a spare gum. Uh, so, my work I've done uh, in spirit gum and liquid latex. Uh, this one that I showed you. And then uh, this one, which are, if I'm gonna do an unzipped eye, just like this. Oh, wait a second there. Now I don't have any glue on it, so yeah. And I've also done this one, which at your skin, it's like you've penetrated your skin with a needle so it like sticks out of your hand yeah you can see uh, so it gets really transparent uh, you can see that you can see like my hand behind it so it just gets like a second skin really and now we're going to show you how to apply it so you're gonna do the scar at the hand because it's the easiest to kind of both put there and take off. Um, and it's the easiest thing to begin with if you're a rookie. Um, I know that not that many people use that kind of word anymore, but I still do, so. Then just take your thing, like your this one because it's gonna do the hand. So just take that one and the pens the pencil or the yeah uh, with the spare gum and there place it right on the back and be really really careful so that you get it on all the like outer corners because otherwise it's uh, it doesn't gonna stick. Uh, so, you doesn't need to have much because it's gonna stick anyway. And then you just press it onto your hand. And you see that it's quite, a, it's quite transparent and uh, it fits quite good even without uh, any kind of uh, foundation or concealer. But if you want it to like really, really fit your skin, you need to uh, use a bit of concealer or uh, foundation. Uh, I have both this concealer and uh, this foundation. I'm adding um, one of my favorite brands. It's Italian, I think. Uh, it's a bit more expensive, but it's really great, so uh, I use that one. And yeah. You can see like this. Now it doesn't match my skin tone, so wait a second. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna show you how to apply foundation over the scar, uh, so that you can get the best results, um, so that like it really fits your skin, and you don't have to. Explain that, oh, this 
it gives them like nothing to care about. Like if you see the yeah the ends of it, like kind of yeah you can see. Um, so just grab it, whip for the foundation, and try to mix it in with your skin. Uh, you're gonna see a slight uh, edge of it. And I've not used enough of spirit gum uh, this time, so it's gonna be a bit more visible than I would like to, but it still looks pretty pretty good. So I mean this is the like done product and you can see that it looks like I've penetrated my skin with a needle. That's great through. So um it's really awesome for Halloween or any kind of uh, event like uh, a costume party or uh, I don't know you maybe want to do some uh, other costumes for uh, maybe just for fun so uh, this can be like a really great thing uh, I'm not trading this so this is actually this were my first prosthetic uh, that I made and I made it yesterday, but you can see that even though I'm not trained, it's it's really easy to uh, make and to apply uh, because the liquid latex, this one, uh, it's kind of I really don't know if you can see in camera, but uh, <gasps> oh shit, uh, but it's just like um, a kind of creamy kind of consistency that you can just pour uh, straight onto uh, any kind of uh, thing and you can just like wipe it off later so it's actually really great um, and yeah so I will show more of my work later on but this was for now <laughs> bye